Hey, we're just one day away from National Soup Month, which is January, and we're preparing to ring in 2020 with our friends from Zoop. They're helping us make a good luck soup for the new year. I'm joined by Eric Ursher and uh, Dan uh, Carberry of Zoop. Uh, you're a culinary expert with Zoop. I've heard that. You, you've heard that, and uh, and Eric, you are the founder. I am. Of Great Zoop. to be so here. So the guy who started it all. Yep. All right. So what makes a we're making a good luck soup. What is a good luck soup? So, Dan, you want to jump in with the uh, black eyed yeah, peas? Yeah, so historically, you know, it's, a, it's, a southern, it's based out of the South, and really what it means is it's sort of living into the new year, prosperity, mm -hmm. wealth, happiness, mm -hmm. warmth. So basically, the, the black eyed peas represent a coin. The collard greens represent money. You can add some corn, cornbread that represents gold. Okay. So it's sort of like eating poor on New Year's Eve and then living fat into the new year. All right, so you've already started yeah. here. You have some aromatics uh, yes. that you already have going and you've had, uh, it looks, is that uh, some uh, beef there? Or I'm sorry, pork some sausage. sort of meat? A yeah. pork sausage. So we got a pork okay. sausage, some onion, some garlic, a little oil. And really what we're doing now is we're just rendering the fat out of this, getting a nice flavor profile going. And then we're gonna add some aromatics. You know, you can use really any herb that you want. We're mm -hmm. using sage, a little thyme, a little bay leaf, adding a little parsley in there. And basically what you want to do is just bring out some of the flavor, get some of those aromatics going before you add the hero of the soup, which is our Zoop chicken bone broth. All right. So uh, available at Grocers Nationwide as well. Uh, so basically what you want to do here is add this broth in, mm -hmm. and you're going to want to bring that up to a boil. So we're going to add a couple jars in here. And again, those herbs, mm -hmm. that pork sausage, that, that onion, that garlic is going to add a bunch of flavor here. You're gonna let that kind of bring, you know, bring this up to boil, get it all sort of nice, you know, nice and broken down. And then really, what you, it's a very simple soup. So we're gonna add all the other particulates. All right, now while you're adding this, I do wanna uh, ask Eric, you guys have some new and interesting things going on at Zoop. Oh my God, we are so busy. So we rolled out our broth line about mm -hmm. five years ago, the first broth good enough to drink. It's now in 7,000 stores, so that's going really well. It's not like the world needed another chicken broth, but it did need one that was good enough to drink, so that inspired us. We have evolved the Zoop concept, which as you know has been around for over 20 years with the new Zoop eatery. So as the world has changed, so has Zoop, and we're gonna be opening the first Zoop eatery, mm -hmm. the platform for our further evolution on January 20th in Bloomfield at Square Lake and Woodward. And that is really exciting. And you know, Zoop, we see Zoop all around here because you founded it right here, but it is a national brand. Founded it in Southfield, and we have locations across the northern half of the United States and Ontario, Canada. I used to be in the spice business, and we were in a lot of restaurants, and we found that good soup, really good soup, was hard to find. By the way, good, really good, that's the name of the broth line as well. All right, so you can remember that. That's easy to remember, good, really good. Uh, now, Dan, you've already added all of the uh, additional elements here, and typically you would let this cook for how much longer? 20, 25 minutes on simmer, just let it break down. You can, you can cook it for as long as you want, depending on what you're adding in. We added some, uh, you know, some collard greens, some roasted tomatoes, mm -hmm. some green onion, and just let it sit for 20, 25 minutes, turn it off, and you'll be able to enjoy that for the next few hours. And then you end up with this delicious yes. uh, concoction. Can I? Uh, Absolutely. Let's try some of this. So we do have the soup. This is the finished product. That is the finished product. I'm going to put some there. And it and pairs well with champagne. Uh, pairs well with champagne. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. And this, of course, you know, it smells fantastic. It looks great. And very nice. Don't underestimate the value of a really good broth. A really good broth. <laughs> And what kind of broth is it? What's the name again? It's good, really good broth. It's good. available at Plum, at Bushes, at Kroger, at Nino, wherever you might shop. All right, and you can see, and you want more information on Zoop, whether it's the broth or their new concept, keep an eye on Zoop.com. You can find the nearest restaurant there, and we look forward to seeing that new Great concept when it Happy, launches. Happy, healthy, near to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And in fact, enjoy. I appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you, Dan. Happy really appreciate it.